Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to set up the MVAVE Chocolate MIDI Foot Controller to control your old DSP plugins in FL Studio. Let's get started. In order to control neural DSP plugins in FL Studio, we'll use a combination of long and short presses. We'll use long presses to change presets and short presses to toggle effects. Let's begin programming the chocolate controller in the Cube Suite editor. When you launch the Cube Suite program on your desktop, you'll be presented with this screen. To set up the chocolate to control neural DSP plugins, go to the Mode Selection tab and select Advanced Custom Mode. Next, click Foot Switch A and select Step Short or Step Long. You'll see a second box open labeled Bank B. When you step on a pedal, whatever you program in Bank A will be executed when you step on the pedal and release it. Whatever you program in Bank B will be executed when you step on the pedal and hold it. Let's begin by setting up pedal A. Go to bank A, double click the entry and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. For data 1, we'll enter CC number 1. And for data 2, we'll enter 127 as the value. Now go to bank B and double click the entry. If bank B is empty, click the add button. Double click the entry and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select PC. For data 1, we'll enter number 0. Next, we'll set up pedal B. Select step short or step long. Go to bank A, double click the entry and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. For data 1, we'll enter CC number 2. And for data 2, we'll enter 127 as the value. Now go to bank B and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select PC. For data 1, we'll enter number 1. Now click foot switch C. Select Step Short or Step Long. Go to Bank A, double-click the entry and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. For Data 1, we'll enter CC number 3. And for Data 2, we'll enter 127 as the value. Now go to Bank B and double-click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select PC. For data 1, we'll enter number 2. Finally, click foot switch D. Select step short or step long. Go to bank A, double click the entry and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. For data 1, we'll enter CC number 4. And for data 2, we'll enter 127 as the value. Now go to bank B and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select PC. For data 1, we'll enter number 3. To set up the expression pedal, select expression pedal and click interface. Click Add. Double-click the entry and select your MIDI channel. Enter 11 for data. The loosened value is the value of the pedal when it is fully open. Enter 127. The step-on value is the value of the pedal when it is fully closed. Enter 0. Click OK. Close the interface and exit the editor. You're now done programming the controller. Let's set up FL Studio. To set up the chocolate controller in FL Studio, go to Options and select MIDI Settings. You'll see the chocolate controller listed as USB MIDI. 
Note, if you don't see it listed, click Refresh Device List in the bottom left-hand corner. Next, select the device and enable it. Select a port number that is not being used. For the tutorial, we have selected the number 2. Now FL Studio is set up to receive data from the chocolate controller. To set up the neural plugin, select a channel and click a mixer insert slot. Select more plugins from the menu and type archetype in the find search bar. Select your neural plugin. Once the plugin is loaded, click the cog icon in the upper left corner and select the second tab. Set the input port number. Now, click the first tab to display the plugin and go to MIDI settings in the bottom left corner of the neural plugin. Note, if the MIDI settings icon is not visible, right click on the plugin and change the window size. Click the plus and select CC toggle. Select the effect you wish to toggle. Select your MIDI channel and choose CC number 1. Click the plus again and select CC toggle. Select the effect you wish to toggle. Select your MIDI channel and choose CC number 2. Next, click the plus again and select CC toggle. Select the effect you wish to toggle. Select your MIDI channel and choose CC number 3. Click the plus again and select CC toggle. Select the effect you wish to toggle. Select your MIDI channel and choose CC number 4. Now, click the plus button, but this time select Program Change Preset. Choose a preset. For PC number, enter 0. Click the plus button and select Program Change Preset. Choose a preset. For PC number, enter 1. Next, click the plus button and select Program Change Preset. Choose a preset. For PC number, enter 2. Finally, click the plus button and select Program Change Preset. Choose a preset. For PC number, enter 3. Close the MIDI settings menu. Now, when you step on a pedal, the effects you have chosen will toggle. When you step on a pedal and hold it, the presets will change. To set the expression pedal, simply right click on a knob and select Enable MIDI Learn. Move the expression pedal and select Disable MIDI Learn. Now your expression pedal is set. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.